just watched this video, I had to pull over and make a video. This is my thoughts on this whole situation. We're gonna get right into it. Y'all play close attention. So we walked up and probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking, I'm estimating here, I have no idea, you know. Hold up real quick. Is that Hosier? You mean to tell me Hosier was out the rally? <laughs> but um, we noticed the guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. You know, he's, he's crawling. And... Next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two or three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? hundred percent. hundred percent. And he, he was... That's it, that's it, that's it. I'm telling you, the Secret Service was in on this shit. Only people that don't want Trump dead is the supporters, the people, and the freaking military. The Secret Service and the police knew about this. Let me tell y'all something right now. Do you think Trump ain't gonna get to the bottom of this? He's literally gonna have to hire the military to protect him because one good thing's gonna come out of this Trump just won the election it's over sleepy Joe go back to bed Trump a gangster he a gangster I mean immediately he gets shot goes down comes back up with the black power fist the freaking black power fist Trump is a gangster let me tell you this let me add this real quick if Trump would have by 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 uh, God bless his soul, but if he would have died today, we would break out in civil war. I mean, he didn't even die in the, everybody, I'm in the streets right now. I just left Walmart. People are going crazy. There is no toilet paper. Y'all know, like the coronavirus, every time shit hits the fan, everybody buys the freaking toilet paper. I ain't gonna be able to wipe my ass for three months because Trump got his ear blew off. I'm telling y'all, man, this was an inside job. This was an inside job. And you Democrats, y'all look so freaking retarded right now. All against guns, but want to shoot the president. He is the president now. It's over with. We might as well go ahead and, and give him the keys to the White House tonight. Because it is over with Jack. No, this is a little lighthearted, but in all reality, y'all, Pray for our country tonight. I want each and every one of my supporters, people that rock with me, to get down on your knees tonight and pray for Mr. Donald J. Trump and his family and the United States of America. Pray, pray, pray. Because I'm telling you, the only reason he didn't, that bullet didn't go two inches the other way and, and Trump's still with us is because this is God doing for us what we can't do for ourselves. God bless America and God bless the military. Trump, you need to clean that secret service up ASAP. ASAP. You mean to tell me that uh, the Dragon Ball Z uh, hosier with the, with the visor, with the fake hair on, Dragon Ball Z, seen it all, and y'all didn't pay him no attention. Pray for our country, y'all. I love y'all. I'm out.